All right, well, I'm back here again with um, another JAMA test station video. Just wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I did here um, to be able to actually physically test a board when I do buy it or collect it or want to sell it. That way I don't have any issues down the road with, well, I got the board and this doesn't work and that doesn't work or this looks great but this doesn't look great. So um, what I did today is I took my JAMA harness um, that's been on the kit since I got it, obviously, and um, I built a little box kind of similar to that ghetto main project I did about a year and a half ago um, and put it together. That way if I want to stand it up, I can stand it up. Um, drilled all the appropriate buttonholes and everything in there and mounted the menu test switch um, button up on top. So um, I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm sure it works because I already labeled all the wires and everything uh, previously from the last time. Um, so I'll fire it up here with this hacked up MK1 board and uh, see what happens. I also mounted an extra uh, marquee that I had up there for the hell of it since uh, I had nothing else to do with it. I can't really put it anywhere else. I got a couple of extra ones, so I might as well just put them in there. So um, let's fire this thing up on the 19-inch arcade CRT monitor and uh, see how I did. Well, we know the board works. You guys have seen that before. So let's see if this works. Good. I have noticed with this hack board, every once in a while you'll get a glitch across the screen where it'll just kind of shudder like that. I don't know, you'll probably, there you go again. You can kind of see it. So it looks like everything works. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I don't really know what else to show you. Let's turn this down a little bit. Um, pretty easy to make this, like I said. The Player 2 harness, if I ever wanted to add to it, is right here. Um, and I probably at some point in time will wire up a kick harness for individual boards so I can touch, uh, test the bottom three buttons um, and the fourth one down there if it was like a Killer Instinct or something like that. But um, not really sure what else to show you guys except for uh, this is a pretty simple project if you guys ever wanted to build one you know on a bench like this in your garage it's very inexpensive you know I think between the monitor um, and the JAMA harness and the power supply and the random buttons and the joystick and the test menu switch maybe a hundred bucks into this whole thing um, the monitor is going to be your most expensive thing because of shipping unless you find one locally um, but I mean it's fairly easy to hook all this stuff up just remember with these old monitors you need to have an isolation transformer which I have back here. I don't know if you can make it out down there. But you need to have that to come into the power supply um, and then have the power come into the monitor. Otherwise, you'll blow these monitors. That's the only thing that you'll need to um, be aware of. But fairly simple operation to put together and, um, you know, for fun and for collecting and to be able to test it. And if you buy something, obviously, you want to be able to plug it in and make sure the board works if you just want to collect something instead of pulling a... 350 pound cabinet away from the wall and disassembling all that and putting the board in there. It's just a lot easier to do something like this. So, uh, hope that helps one of you guys. If somebody's interested in doing it or has any questions, let me know. We'll see you next time.